High five. Go round. Jump. Go through. Go to bed. Ring the bell. Up, up. Clicker training. Most of you have probably heard of it. And when it comes to rabbits, I think some people think of it as a way to teach them fun party tricks, which is awesome. But I'm here to tell you that clicker training is so, so much more than just that. It could be the key to a well-behaved, 100% free roaming bunny. So focus up, get ready to take notes, because this is Clicker Training 101. Give me a high five. Hello, my name's Liana. I'm a clicker trainer and a rabbit behaviorist. This here is Peppa. Wally is off over there somewhere. Uh, but we are the Bunnies Brigade and we're here to help people rethink rabbit care by proving how intelligent these guys really are. Uh, did I mention I'm a clicker trainer? I say it at the start of almost all my videos and yes, I am a professional positive reinforcement trainer. I train dogs professionally, often using one of these little guys and I've used and continue to use the same methods with my rabbits. Clicker training allows humans and animals to overcome communication barriers and by doing so we build a closer relationship with our pet so I strongly believe we should all consider training as an integral part of rabbit care. Why you ask? Well, for the same reasons we train dogs. We train dogs so they can better understand what we ask of them, which is essential to preventing bad behavior. We generally want a dog that can sit and stay on command, walk nicely on leash, is toilet trained, doesn't bite or bark or jump up at you, and um, one that doesn't destroy your house would be nice too. So now apply this to rabbits. What is good rabbit behavior? What do we want them to understand we are asking of them? And you can pause this video here if you like and write down a list of things your rabbit does or doesn't do that you wish you could tell them to change. Go for it. And then go ahead and post your list in the comments because it'll inform me as to what specific training videos to make in the future. And whatever it was you wrote down, so long as it's within a rabbit's physical limitations and does not entail putting them in an unsuitable, stressful environment, I'm telling you, you can do it with clicker training. Rabbits are not untrainable. Oh, it really irks me when people say that. I promise you, as a professional trainer, they absolutely are trainable. Guys, chickens are trainable. Haven't people even trained bees before? You just have to learn the mechanics behind training and understand what it takes from you. And that's time, patience, and consistency. So what exactly is clicker training? Well, clicker training is a positive reinforcement training method that is most commonly used to train dogs, but it can be used to train literally any animal and rabbits pick it up fast. In fact, Pepper, Wally and Jasmine, rest her little soul, have actually picked up certain commands quicker than some dogs I've worked with. Clicker training was a method founded by Karen Pryor. And Karen Pryor is a behavioral biologist whose work with dolphins in the 60s revolutionized animal training. You can buy clickers for a dollar or two on Amazon. There are a few different varieties and I can link some of my favorites in the description below. <laughs> A clicker makes a clear and consistent sound that can then be used to precisely mark a desired behavior. That desired behavior is then rewarded. Unwanted behavior is ignored. And that's important, let's not forget that, because it's the most common mistake dog owners make. I see it all the time. So let me repeat it. Unwanted behavior is ignored. And when we strictly follow those rules, the result is the rewarded behaviors will happen more frequently, whilst the ignored behavior will just fade away. Scolding or physical punishment is never used in clicker training, but that doesn't mean we can't say no. We can use a verbal non-reward marker like nope or uh-oh if we feel the need to. <laughs> 
Obviously, to begin, your rabbit won't know what the clicker means, so they must first learn to associate the sound of it with a tasty reward. And we do this by clicking every mealtime, as soon as you give them their food. Now, at this point, you're not clicking for a specific behavior, you're just getting the rabbit accustomed to the sound of the clicker and what it means. And take care not to frighten your rabbit when you first use the clicker though. The first time some rabbits hear the sound, it can freak them out a bit. So remember they do have very sensitive ears, so don't click too close to them. And if you find your rabbit is scared by the sound, you can try muffling the click inside a shirt, towel, cloth or something to start with. Otherwise, try a quieter clicker. I think this one might be a little quieter. Clickers vary in all kinds of sounds and volume. One more thing to note as you're introducing the clicker, you'll want to avoid clicking for the same behavior every time, because this will cause superstitious behavior where your rabbit thinks doing a certain activity is causing the food to arrive. Your rabbit may already have learnt some superstitious behaviour and that's absolutely fine. It won't take long for your rabbit to learn that click equals food and it will be pretty obvious once the click has become meaningful to them. Once they know what the clicker means, now you can choose a method for teaching them their first command. There are three methods to try and you don't need to stick to just one. You can use all three to achieve the desired behavior if you like. Now the first I wanna talk about is capturing. Capturing is the simplest method and it's often how animals will usually try to communicate with us and how they end up picking up that superstitious behavior I talked about earlier. For example, if your rabbit spends the nights in a pen and then in the morning they chew or shake the bars, at which point you then let them out, they've learned that doing that, chewing, shaking on the bars equals free roam time. So they will chew on the bars every time. And in a way, they've kind of trained you. So capturing is when we click on reward for an action or behavior that the rabbit exhibits of their own volition. This is useful with litter training, and you may have noticed I suggest it in my litter training video. Next, we have luring. Luring is exactly what you'd expect. We use a treat to lure the rabbit to go where we'd like. It's not always the most effective technique as the animal isn't thinking for themselves, but it can work great when initially teaching them to come to you or go to a certain spot. Also, understand that with rabbits, this technique can sometimes prove difficult because unlike dogs, they're not naturally inclined or physically equipped to follow moving food. And lastly, we have shaping. Shaping is how we teach more advanced commands. It is when you break down a trick into bite-sized chunks and reward for achieving each baby step. Over, jump. Over, jump. You would use this technique if you wanted to effectively teach high five, have them pick up and move an object or learn to navigate an obstacle course. That is our three methods, but clicker training is all about timing. You have to make sure you're clicking at the right moment. Think of the clicker like it's a camera shutter and you're taking a photo of the desired behavior. Click as the behavior is taking place and not afterward. If you were to take a photo of something that happened after it occurred, then the, you wouldn't have the photo. A click must then always be followed by a reward, even if you click at the wrong moment. And you can think of a reward as a paycheck for the hard, often mentally challenging work your rabbit is doing. I usually reward Wally and Pepper with their normal pellets. I've shown you this before in a video because they love them, they're not messy, and they're much healthier than actual treats. That way we can get lots of repetition in without the need to worry about the effect on their health. That said, different foods have different value to your rabbit depending on what they like. So it's good to know what your rabbit's preferences are before you start training. Training. Then you can use higher value treats if your rabbit exhibits behavior that they've been particularly struggling with. Raisins are a good example of a high value treat.
Consistency and repetition are the key to getting your rabbit to work out what action earns them a reward. And once it's clear they've worked that out, you can then add a cue. A cue can be a word, kiss, hand signal, or both. Try not to jump ahead though. Remember your rabbit doesn't speak English. So using a cue word from the get-go before they've even understood what gets them the click will only add noise pollution and confuse your rabbit. You want to give the cue as your rabbit performs the behavior you've taught him or her. High five. Then click on reward, then just keep repeating. As they progress, you'll work towards giving the cue earlier, just before they offer the behavior. High five. And then eventually you'll find you can ask for the behavior and they'll do it. High five. The clicker isn't intended to be used forever. It's just a teaching tool. And don't think they'll only ever respond to the command if they're getting a treat out of it. Once a behavior has been established and your rabbit is responding consistently to a cue, you can take away the clicker. You can also move on to rewarding intermittently. So it won't matter whether there's food around or not. They'll give you the behavior regardless. High five. It is still important to reward on occasion though, to keep them engaged. And be aware an animal can forget training if not regularly reinforced. So you may sometimes find you have to actually go back to using the clicker for a bit and rewarding more frequently. Before I give you my bonus tips, give this video a thumbs up if you think you and your rabbit might give clicker training a try, and I really hope you do. I'll be bringing out more videos showing you exactly how to train specific commands, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. Now, for my bonus tips, work in short five to 10 minute bursts because your rabbit will get tired mentally and physically. They will walk away or lie down when they're done, so that's your cue to stop. If you try and make them work when they don't want to, you absolutely will not succeed. Training should be fun, exciting playtime for them to the point where they will come to you and ask to train. If you need to end a training session before they get tired, maybe they're being a bit greedy or you just have something else you need to do, it's good to end on a high. Wait until they've successfully achieved something or ask for something you know they can do successfully. And then I like to say finished and reward with a few extra treats. It's really important to have patience and give your rabbit time to work things out. When you've started adding cue words, don't repeatedly say the word. Say it once and just wait. High five. Don't leave me hanging. You're ruining the take. Thank you. It may take a little time for the cogs to turn and for them to remember what they have to do. And it's totally okay if you need to go back a step or even start from square one. That is pretty much all the need to know basics of clicker training that I wanted to just get out in one video so you have it always to refer back to if you need it as you go on this training journey with your rabbit. And you guys, it's such an incredible, rewarding journey. You'll build a stronger connection with your rabbit and they'll relish the mental stimulation. And I especially recommend it for single bunnies. And if you have got this far in this video, you might now be itching for a step-by-step -step of how exactly to apply this to a specific command. So let me know in the comments what command you'd like me to demonstrate how to train and I'll be putting together those videos for you very soon. In the meantime, Time. Go buy a clicker and get your rabbit introduced and familiar with it. And the rabbits and I will see you in the next one. Clicker training 101. High five. Don't leave me hanging. You're ruining the take. Thank you. <laughs>